And the Writers Guild Award goes to Mark Bull for Zero Dark Thirty. Mark Bowell won the Original Screenplay Award in 2010 for The Hurt Locker. Thank you, Toby. Um, this is uh, really lovely. Um, thanks to Twitter, I actually knew it was going to happen about five minutes ago, <laughs> which gave me a chance to write a quick speech. Um, I don't usually agree with uh, pitting works of art against each other, uh, unless, of course, I'm the one getting the award, uh, which puts me in the uncomfortable position of wanting to thank you for your wisdom. Uh, but this is, this is really lovely, coming from a guild of writers. Uh, as, as Tom Stoppard said, it's... it's um, it's a unique thing to, to be honored by, by your peers. And I, I do love this guild, and I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of it, and very grateful uh, that uh, they let me in, actually. The guild is important to me for many reasons, uh, not least uh, of which is that writing can be a, a lonely process. And the guild brings us together in many ways uh, for our collective rights, uh, and, and of course, uh, to celebrate uh, works like tonight. And I, I, I want to second the emotion of celebrating the other nominees, any, any one of which could have uh, rightfully won this flight, and, and Looper, and The Master, and Moonrise Kingdom, uh, and, and, and also quite a few great scripts this year that didn't get recognized. And I also want to celebrate Catherine Bigelow, who um, isn't actually watching this on the internet, but came here. <laughs> uh, and actually sat through this. Thank you, Catherine. Catherine, you, you took this script and you, you made it live and breathe and fly, and you led all of us uh, unflinchingly and bravely to a place of truth and beauty. You've said many times that you wanted to shine a light on a dark decade, and by my money, you have done that, and I can't imagine a higher calling for an artist and I thank you for letting me be part of your vision. Jessica, or uh, Jessica Chastain, the great Jessica Chastain, uh, thank you for, for saying yes to this and for, for uh, making Maya your own and for, for taking the, the character and the dialogue and, and bring so much beauty and, and truth to it. And uh, I'm sure that if the real Maya was watching, she would say that Ginger didn't do a, a bad job. Uh, I also owe a debt of thanks to Megan Ellison and Amy Pascal and Michael Linton and the whole Sony team and Anj for actually coming tonight, <laughs> uh, for backing this film and showing me what this town can do uh, when they get behind something. And uh, I'd also like to thank my agent, uh, Brian Ken, who's here, and my lawyer, Alan Wertheimer, and uh, Tony, my press agent. People don't normally thank their press agents, but I think in my case, <laughs> it's really due. Tony once said to me, you, of all people, really do need a publicist, so thank you, Tony. <laughs> um, but seriously, no writer uh, or producer stands here alone, and I'd also like to thank the crew who worked on this film. Uh, so many people, but just a few highlights. Um, Greg Frazier, the DP, and um, uh, our just uh, David Ticketon, the first AD. Um, so many people. It's a really killer list of people, and if anyone is, is making a movie, I, I recommend uh, you call me. I can give you uh, a list of names of people who will kill for the film, kill for you. And uh, on the other hand, if you're making a movie about the CIA, I do not recommend that you call me, because there's another list of people who will kill you for trying. <laughs> but uh, anyway, with that, thank you very much. This is, uh, I'll treasure this always. Thank you. Thank you.